Hello, 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 Tanya's to roll. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're new here, welcome back. If you are returning, come on in, like, subscribe, comment, share. Thank you guys in advance. You already know what it is, my love. Kick your feet up. Get your shit, get your shit, get your shit, and get comfortable. We're we about to make it do what it do, love. This is a timeless general read. All signs, all placements. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, guys, okay? Let's see what's going on. What do you need to know for your greatest clients good at this time? And we do need it to jump. What's going on for the collective? What do they need to know? Overall energy. We do need it to jump. Overall energy for this collective read. Okay, so somebody's dealing with some type of mental health concerns. This could be you. This could be... Oh, I'm Ashley. Hold on, y'all. Okay, I'm back, guys. Sorry. If y'all deal with the cards, y'all know... Uh, it get rough on your hands. You know, going to the bathroom, washing your hands, playing with the cars, they get a little ashy. So somebody is dealing with some type of mental health concerns, guys, okay? Um, they could be looking up some type of help online. This, like I said, this could be you or someone connected to you. Give me one more, Holy Spirit. Collective energy. So what's going on with the special mental health concerns? Okay, so this could be a masculine energy, divine masculine sugar daddy, mature man. So there's a masculine energy here that's dealing with some health issues right now. Mental health issues. So they they may feel like they're going crazy. Um, they may be dealing with some type of anxiety or fear here. Let's see what's going on with this divine masculine and where these mental health concerns are coming from. Need two more so we can get the whole overall energy. What is going on with this divine masculine that is dealing with these mental health concerns? Huh. Okay, so it says sometimes I'm gay for pay. So there could be a masculine who went through something um, and is affecting their mental. It could put them in a, in a situation or maybe they, they haven't come out. I feel like somebody's keeping a secret. I feel like there's somebody keeping a secret and because they're keeping this secret, it's affecting their mental health. This is a mature masculine male energy here. Give me one more. We're going to talk about it. And whoever this is, they have some type of addictions, which brings dysfunction. So they have been trying to deal with their mental health issues by um, using substances, okay, addictive substances here. And they're trying to cover up the fact that they're into the same sex. They're getting paid to have sex with somebody of the same sex. Let's talk about it. Okay, y'all. So there's the masculine energy around you. Does not have to necessarily be your person. This could be a friend. This could be um, a father figure, an uncle, a homeboy. But there is a masculine energy here that is dealing with their sexuality. And because it's affecting them, they're doing drugs to try to cover up what's going on with them. And they're dealing with a lot of mental health issues here. Someone may need your help. And they may be afraid to come talk to you. Let's find out what's going on. But this person is very dysfunctional. Collective energies. So 
clarify mental health concerns. So I have give here. Someone could possibly want something from you or want to come give you something. Give me one more about mental health concerns. Homeless. Somebody is feeling like a failure. They could be having some type of money issues at this time. That could also be affecting their mental health. They may have lost a job or need a better job with this profession here. They could possibly want you to give them something. Or maybe because this person has been homeless and they don't have no money, they've been out here having sex with the person, you know, same sex relationships for pay. Give me one more for this mental health. I'm trying to understand what this gift is, Holy Spirit. Evidence. Somebody found out. Somebody got some type of proof. Investigation proof, yeah, that this person has been making their money. By having sex for, for pay. Okay. And this person could have been about to lose their house. They could be about to be homeless. They asked them for donations here. But the truth is out. And this could be affecting this person's mental health. Because they, they don't want somebody to tell. Or they don't want this information out. They didn't want this to come out. So maybe they thought that you was going to tell on them and they didn't want this information out. So it's affecting their mental health. Can I find this sugar daddy mature man? This is somebody you are a friend with. This is a friend. This is your friend. And this person can be very stubborn. And you may not be talking to this friend anymore. Or, or maybe try to give this friend some advice. They weren't trying to hear you. So you may have a friend, a masculine friend. This could also be a woman in masculine energy um, that is doing drugs, that's dealing with mental health issues because they they're they're homeless. They've lost their home or they've lost their job, and because their money is funny, they out here having sex for pay. You know what I'm saying, man or woman. And somebody has found out. And they could be also having it with the same sex, okay? Somebody found out. Somebody got some type of proof. And they're afraid this information is going to come out. That's why sometimes I'm gay for pain. Oh, they may have gotten sick. They could have caught something. Something that's possibly um, not curable. Because they were out here having sex for pain. And now they're out here drugging, trying to cope with, with whatever information they found. This could also be a family member or someone you have a family with. So this is either a friend or a family member here, babies. And they, they could be sick. Yeah, now they're, they're by themselves lonely. This person is connected to some IV back, so they could be, they could be somewhere sick by themselves, I, isolated, taking their medications, going through whatever this illness is, trying to get well, because they were out here indulging, and now they're indulging in all these drugs and shit. This could also be a friend that you considered family. Yeah, so this person is all in their head, in their mind. They're imagining making up shit. Are they making up shit in their head? And this person is making up shit. They possibly want to play you like a puppet. They tried to have dominion over you, dictate something to you, but you were reluctant. So maybe this person tried to come back in your life, and you didn't let them back in. 
But this person now is dealing with money issues. Or because they was having money issues, they was out here having sex with a bunch of fucking people. Same sex relationships. Opposite sex relationships. And now they didn't got sick. And now they by themselves lonely and sick. And they're indulging in some type of extracurricular activities that's not good for them. And their mental is all fucked up. This person could have tried to do some type of magic on you. I seen the magic card. This could be their. This could be. Look, it popped out. I can't make this shit up. I was finna say this person could have did some type of magic on you, and them getting sick, them being by themselves, um, could be the karma. They could have tried to stop or block your gifts. They could have wanted you to be homeless. Family and friends. And now they somewhere going through this shit. But somebody did some type of magic. I can't make it up. Set them on your mystery magic. What's all right here? Yeah, you was having luck. Because you, you over here, you pray. You're connected. You, um, It says religion, donation, pray. It says fortune, jackpot, rewards. But you're connected spiritually. And luck is in your favor. You over here having sweet dreams. You, you you know what I'm saying? You're not stressed about nothing. And your money is good. And they try to, to block or stop that. Okay, so this could be an ex. And they they should have hesitated. They could have been told not to do this shit. And now it's coming back on them. Shit, not only is it going to hit them, it could also be hitting their family and friends too. So if they have family and friends helping them do this magic, it can also be affecting their family and friends. Yeah, because you're protected. You're protected with this vow. You're protected. God got your back. Yeah, you are already ready. You are prepared. <laughs> if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. So, um, maybe you stay prayed up. Maybe you, you know what I'm saying, you save yourself every day. Whatever it is, you pray every day. Whatever it is, you are protected from what this, this magic was they tried to send towards you. And now that they sent this magic towards you, the backfire for them is, it's going to affect their mental health. It's going to affect their money. They're going to be homeless. If they out here having sex or was out here having sex with money, they finna have illnesses. They finna be lonely going through these illnesses. If they have family and friends connected, these family and friends also are going to be going through these things. And it's going to be worse than they could have ever imagined. Everything they imagined for you and they were celebrating is now coming towards them. And all they can do is sit back and drug themselves to um, try to get through this shit. Because they're losing their mind. They're losing their mind. Yeah, they tried to stop a financial opportunity for you. They were trying to manifest your money, doing magic, trying to manifest your money. Yeah, with the will of fortune. But what, what was meant for you was faded for you. Good luck. This is a cycle. Of, you're in a cycle of your life for that. And they tried to stop or block it. And now they're dealing with mental health is issues, some type of illness. Family, friends is going to be getting it too, losing their house, homelessness. If they had gifts, they finna lose their gifts. Because there's evidence, there's proof that they tried to come up against you here. And they have been tried in spiritual court. Tried and sentenced. The whole lot of them. Clarify mental health. Collective energies. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, this Knight of Swords here. This is somebody, because it did come out of reverse. This is somebody who's unfocused. They're a follower. They're upset because they missed their chance. 
clarify the um mature masculine. The two of wands in reverse. Yeah, so this person wanted you um to have too much to carry. This is somebody who's very irresponsible and they don't know how to say no. Seven of Wands. Yeah, they tried to block you. And and you stood your ground. You stood your ground. These family, friends, and whoever this person is. Yeah. By using magic with the magician. They wanted you to have lack of clarity. They tried to manipulate you, cause illusions. But you saw the truth, or the truth was being revealed. Ace of Swords. You still having new ideas, breakthroughs, and you realize the truth. I feel like you knew the truth about these people. You had evidence or proof. Maybe they didn't want you to tell. Maybe you knew that this person was out here having sex with the same sex and making their money that way. And maybe they were lying on you. Oh, I just heard these people could. This person or family could have been saying that you have the mental health issues. That you out here having sex for money. And that you got a drug habit. What the fuck? And they were spreading this lie and then trying to do magic to stop and block you. This, this masculine energy was saying it was you with the mental health issues, Collective. They said you had mental health issues. They said you was out here making your money by having sex with people. And that you had a drug habit. And you were dysfunctional because you had a drug habit. This is what the lies that they were spread, spreading amongst each other. And these family and friends, and they were doing magic to stop to try to block your gifts. Like I said, I feel like you knew the truth. Maybe your intuition told you something was off, but you knew the truth about this person. You cut this person off. Ten of Cups. This is somebody you have a family with, or this is your family member. You cut them off because they're dysfunctional. They could have been abusive or unstable. You cut their asses off because you're the high priestess. Very intuitive, divine feminine energy. You have sacred knowledge. Or you're the high priest because this could be um this still could be a father figure or uncle if you're a man. So you're either the high priestess or the high priest. But you trusted your intuition, knowledge, sharing, beliefs, fellowship. Clarify addictions here. Collective energy. Yeah. And this is the tower. When everything they sent towards you has now come back. They tried to cause upheaval, destruction, and catastrophe for you. And this is what's coming back towards them and their family and friends. Or your family and friends. Whoever these people are. They're, they're having a tower moment. That's why all they can do is sit over there and try to smoke. Or drink. Or take pills. Or take drugs. Whatever it is they're doing. Because they're stuck and they can't block it or stop it. Everything they sent towards you has come back. It's returning. And I feel like whatever this illness is, it's incurable. They may be on their way out of here. We have five of wands. These people tried to cause conflict, but they had clash of egos. Okay? They wanted to fight with you. They tried to start a fight with you. Or they're over there fighting amongst each other. Uh, they fighting amongst each other now. Now they're fighting amongst each other because people are passing away. People are getting sick. People are losing their houses and their homes. There is catastrophe. Their life is falling apart. Yeah, can't make it up. Justice at the bottom of the deck. Cause and effect. Truth. Get what, what, what they deserve. They're getting exactly what they deserve, Holy Spirit said. Ace of Wands. And you finna get exactly what you deserve. A passion and a new beginning. Breakthroughs, inspiration, and a new direction. Okay, collective. So, um, let's pull some zodiacs. If this resonates with you guys, let me know. Who does this read about? A four. It's gonna be your zodiac sign or your person's zodiac sign. Um, water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra. Who's this read for about Aquarius? 
Those are people who are about Scorpio. Those are three, four are about Aries. Those are three, four are about Air. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Those are three, four are about. Those are three, four are about. Thank you. That's Leo. One final. Those are three, four are about. Thank you. One more. That was one more. Just one, please. I do need to jump though. Was that it? Thank you. So we have Gemini. Bottom of the deck, we have Fire, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. On the cut, we got Taurus and Capricorn that came out. So Taurus, Capricorn, Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra. Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Leo, Gemini, Fire, uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So Air, Water, Fire. All thing we was missing was Virgo. So um, if your resumes, let me know. Personals are open. My link is down below to book or to buy. And until next time, my loves, you keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with you. Love, light, and peace. Bye, my TT babies.